Uh, today I'm going to give you a peek inside of my Notion dashboard and my Notion homepage basically and a look inside of my ClickUp dashboard when I was using ClickUp and just the difference between the two and you might then see why I really enjoy using Notion. So this is actually a dashboard I put together for myself and it has some quick links, some things. Now I personally stopped using ClickUp. So all of my tasks that are in here are all past due because I just stopped going in and using it. And I switched everything over to Notion because I like it better because every Notion page is basically this. But if you do use ClickUp, this is an amazing place to try to make it more fit you. So I created a little mood board in Canva here with some aspirational photos. I have quick links for my Dubsado and Planoly, so my social content creation and my CRM system that are right there and it's just one click will take me to those websites in a new tab, mind you, which is very helpful. Um, and then here I have my top priorities. Again, this is a call out um, and you can always turn it into something else. So it's a banner, a yellow banner. Sorry, they're call-ups in Notion. Um, and then like the number one thing I need to do today. So this is like a scrap piece of paper. When I list out my top three things, I would put it right here. I always have my feel good beats ready to be playing um, on Spotify. And that is an embed. So if you go slash embed here, and you type in the URL off of Spotify. So when you go to share the Spotify, it has an embed code or a URL link that you can drop right here and it'll embed it for you. This again is a um, text box. So the add widget and text block there is all that is. Same with the quick links to stay focused on my goal. And I just dropped an image there. Um, and then we have any tasks that would be due today would live right here and any past due tasks um, will get flagged and be here. And again, I'm it's very not to date for me, um, but that's what my ClickUp dashboard looks like um, when I was using it and it just did not hit the spot. Let me show you what my Notion dashboard looks like. Oh, my Notion dashboard, it just makes me so happy. Um, so this is um, a template that I pulled off of YouTube months and months and months ago. So I can't even point you in the right direction of where I found it, but there are so many creators making beautiful templates out there and I've rearranged it some, but right here I have some mantras for me. I have my daily journal, um, which if we pull up, I record like, my um, wake up time in the morning. I got to sleep in a little bit today. Um, when I went to bed last night and then my top three I check off and I always capture how I'm feeling and I have some habit trackers that are here as well. And then I am using monk manual process for how I start my day um, with some gratitudes and I end my day with some reflections and thinking about how I can improve for tomorrow. Um, and I love my monk manual, but me and paper planners, I, just, I haven't always, can't always stay in the habit of it. So then I have my to do's, just the things that are either overdue or due today. I can do a brain dump here. And then if I did, I could always, Let's say here, and then I can go ahead and drag it right up there. So now it is going to stay in my um, to do's and I'll have to go back and give it a deadline and everything. Um, but that is that all of these to do's are tied to specific projects um, that I'm working on. And those all stay in my active project and tasks as well. And then I have my content calendar. So my content is going to be any blogs, videos, social media posts for any of my um, companies. And if it's something I have to do today, like I have not created it yet, it's going to come here. And then if there's any ideas that I have, I can just drop them there. And again, I have my playlist embedded here. And um, some of these are um, 
off of the original template that I don't really use. Um, I do, however, use this Saturday checklist to make sure I go through and do all of these things each week. It's really helpful for me to have that written down somewhere. Um, and then the weather for the week and some of those. So that is my like life dashboard where I really check in every day and um, make sure I have this information here. So I hope that was helpful for you. Well, if I found the uh, homepage template from the fellow YouTuber, I have dropped it down below. Otherwise, you are not seeing this part of the video. I hope you really found that helpful, a little behind the scenes of both ClickUp and Notion. Um, what I have found for Notion to work the best is for you to work out of one database that then gets separated into a bunch of different views. Um, that is the beauty with ClickUp, is being able to see um, all of your tasks at hand from a super high level. And you can do that with Notion if you start correctly in the first place. Um, I had started with a different like to-do lists and different project lists for different clients and then I was having a really hard time getting an overall view of what I had to work on. So once I put all of my to-dos, all my tasks, including like home to-dos in one place, I've been able to use my Notion so much better and I really enjoy checking in on it every day. Um, I trust it for the information that is at hand. If you like this video, if you like seeing some of how I use Notion, I would love to hear your comments below. Subscribe, I put out new videos every week all about productivity and keeping your business um, running smoothly. And follow me on Instagram at The Smarter Creative. Uh, if you're over there, I love giving more tips and tricks there as well. I'll see you on the next video.